Namaste. In this video, you will learn how to apply for a hospitation in a German hospital. This will help you fast track your journey on finding a residency and beginning your PG. Let's get started. First, we need to ask the question, why hospitation? Think about how in college you learned to take a history and examine a patient. It was inside a hospital, right? It was bedside learning. It was learning by doing. Hospitation offers you a similar path of learning. It's a hands-on learning experience in the department of your choice. Every day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. you will have access to real medical records, will be able to interact and examine real patients, and even get to participate in procedures and operations. The best part? You can do it for free. If you're wondering about the cost of residency and doing a PG in Germany, you can check it out up here. Now I understand you're here to learn how to apply for a hospitation in Germany, so let's begin by breaking it down. Step number one is designing your CV in German. This is your opportunity to showcase your professional qualifications and achievements in German in a chronological order. Start by choosing a clean minimalistic CV layout. I will be including a CV worksheet for you inside the description down below so feel free to download it and follow along. Write down your personal details including your contact information and an email address. Make sure you include a professional photograph dressed in a suit and a shirt. Then move on to writing your professional experience, if any. Next, you note down your study experience, where you went to college for and where you did your high school or class 12th certificate from. Don't worry about the marks. No one cares about that in the real world. Finally, you write down your language proficiency in German and in your native language. In the end, you can make a column and highlight your achievements and hobbies. Those could include participation in sport activities, competitions, debates, and hobbies such as cooking, writing, reading, or playing a musical instrument. Since you have stayed with me till now, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow my content, which will be immensely helpful on your journey in German. Moving on, to step number two, writing an Anschreiben or a cover letter. This is where you explain your motivation for choosing a certain medical specialty. Think about why you're passionate about this field and what you hope to gain from this hospitation experience. You can start by writing this in English or your native language and then later translate it into German. That's what I did. Moving on to step number three, gathering your document. This includes your German language certificate, preferably B2 level or above, and your medical degree. If your degree is in English, you don't need to get it translated. Make sure to have professional scans or photographs of these documents ready. Step number four, finding the right email address. You'll want to directly email your application to the department head or the secretary for maximum effectiveness. Navigate to the department of your choice and search for the name of the head and their email address. You can also find the contact details of the secretary on the hospital department website. Send an email on this email address attaching all the documents we prepared before, outlining your intention to do a hospitation with them. Step number five is to repeat step one to four. Keep applying to various departments and hospitals across Germany. It may take some time, but you will get a response. I sent my application to over 80 departments across Germany. So remember to be persistent. Let's take a little glimpse into what your day would look like if you begin a hospitation. You start your day at 7 a.m. at a conference where cases and emergencies from yesterday are discussed. Then you move on to daily medical rounds with an experienced doctor where you get to visit each patient on the ward and learn how to manage them. You might even be asked to assist in operations and procedures. Plus, you get to interact with the nurses, help them draw our blood for daily blood tests, and the best of all, you get to practice your skill of being able to talk to a patient in German. You will be tested on this skill when you take the examinations on your way to getting an approbation or a medical license in Germany. Both Kenntnisprüfung and Fachsprachprüfung will test you on your ability to communicate with a patient, elicit a medical history, be able to examine them and instruct them in German. So it definitely helps in sharpening your skills before you go for that examination and increase your chances of success. Remember, attention to detail and professionalism is key to your success. So take the time, sure, 
little details like the layout, like the font, like every word you type in every document that you prepare is in German. Congratulations! You and I have successfully prepared an application and you can now go ahead and send it. If you found the content to be helpful and relevant, hit the like button and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button to follow for more such interesting videos and content. Follow me, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.